Williams next month, but he's on the bill here tonight, and for that contest to happen in a few weeks' time, he's got to win this evening. For the first round. So can the 27-year-old Lithuanian Mendoga Kulikauskas uh, upset Herbie, Hans, Herbie Hyde's plans to uh, keep the comeback bandwagon rolling along and uh, dethrone the, or derail the possibility of a, a lucrative fight and a much-awaited fight with uh, Danny Williams, perhaps scheduled for next month? We'll have to wait and see. Herbie Hyde, now 32 years of age, seems to have been around forever, but he did turn pro when he was just 18. And he came into the ring to the strains of Elvis Presley's if you're looking for trouble, look me right in the face, and I think trouble is probably like the man in the, the Presley song, Duke Mackenzie Herbie's middle name. Well, I tell you what, sometimes Herbie can be a little bit misunderstood, a little bit outquoted. Uh, he says some ridiculous things, but I tell you what, the kid can fight. Uh, sure, he's been out of the ring for a little while now, some five months, but I thought he looked quite impressive in his last fight. Well, he certainly did. He stopped a pretty tough Russian, uh, Alex Vasiliev, in Alexander Palace last October in five rounds. And the two-time WBO heavyweight champion of the world is uh, very anxious. He's spending quite a bit of uh, time in Las Vegas where he's been trained by former world champion Eddie Mustafa Mohammed. He's very anxious to get himself back here and uh, clean up this British division. He's got this very intriguing fight with Danny Williams coming up and who knows, the prospect of Herbie Hyde against Audley Harrison is pretty mouth-watering. Last time we saw Kulikowskis, the solid uh, southpaw, having a seventh fight in the UK, was uh, just last month. And he went the full eight rounds with Mark Krentz and gave Krentz a fair old bit of trouble, mainly due to his strength and his southpaw style. Well, Herbie needs, first of all, to get his left foot on the outside with the southpaw right, because he can come over with the jab. But I just feel Herbie Hyde's got so much class, so much natural ability. And so much of that stems from natural hand speed certainly one of the fastest punching heavyweights calls himself the dancing destroyer might not be dancing just so much these days but the hand speed is still pretty impressive it is impressive he's a he's a very big man 16 stone he stands but, but there's not an ounce of fat on that guy he's always been in excellent condition in fact this is probably one of the heaviest he's been because he when he was the world champion he was in and around the 15 stones mark and that really was his problem going in against men like riddick bow who stopped him and then Vitaly Klitschko who also stopped him that's a good right hand from Herbie Hyde in this opening round and he seems to be taking his time there's no bull in a china shop approach from Herbie for this one well it's been the exact same approach for this fight as it was his last fight he's got to move a much more mature head it seems Hyde's no longer the erratic performer that we've come to expect to know he picks his he picks his punches a lot better now well he picked that one a wee bit on the low side a little admonition from the referee Pulikowskis is going to survive this first round and says well done and ambles back to his corner and back goes Herbie to his where he's greeted by Eddie Mustafa Mohammed. And he wasn't a bad old boxer, Duke, was he? God, what a, he was a fabulous champion, that guy. He could fight and was fighting in the days when, you know, world champions really did mean something. Well, Herbie looking nice and relaxed. <laughs> Just a few little statistics on Herbie Hyde. He's still uh, relatively young in terms of the heavyweight division. He's actually younger than the man he might well be uh, thinking of meeting soon, Audley Harrison. So, and he's hugely more experienced, coming up to 40 professional contests. Corners, 10 seconds. This is Kuli Kauskas. To celebrate his 28th birthday, just his 12th professional contest, still uh, Second out, looking for his first win in British soil. Well, he couldn't have picked a more awkward opponent to fight than Herbie Hyde. You know, Kelly Kaus just wouldn't have been him with anybody as nimble footed or as fast hands as Herbie Hyde. Well, he's been in with quite a, quite a few good uh, British heavyweights. Last time out was Mark Prince. Before that, in December, they went in against the uh, highly rated Roman Greenberg. In fact, had Roman Greenberg down in the second, but Greenberg came back strongly to stop him in the fifth. And he's had a draw with the former big fella from Wales, the former Welsh amateur champion, Scott Gammer. I just, just circling round to his left, just trying to find the openings. Just trying to find the openings with his right hand. Just reaching a little bit with it. 
that's better, just pop the jab and then, then look for the right hand, the left hook. The speed of Herbie Hyde is quite phenomenal, you know, he, two, three, four punches just went in there, at a blink of an eye. Kalukowska's style is making it difficult because not only is a southpaw, but he, he stands at almost 90 degrees to Herbie, and Herbie's really got to reach with that right hand and find an extra six or seven inches to make contact. And that's Absolutely. clever work by uh, Kolikowskas. It's a much more measured performance by Herbie Hyde. He also needs uh, a few rounds as well, so he'd be happy to get this man out of the way. But if he's got Danny Williams in about a month's time, if that's uh, definitely going to happen, and we think it is, then Herbie needs a few rounds. Yeah, he could do a few rounds, but again, this southpaw style, because Kolikowskas predominantly boxes off the back foot, He's making it awkward for Herbie Hyde to land his right hand to the body. Consequently, that punch will fall a little bit short. It might not land deliberately low, but it is landing low. Well, if your next contest was against uh, Danny Williams, would you be uh, like a good poker player, keeping a few cards close to the chest, Duke? Absolutely. I think Herbie needs to try and get some rounds under his belt, show absolutely nothing tonight to go into that fight. If he doesn't want to show Danny Williams too much, you know, it's an intriguing fight. It really is a pick and kind of a fight, but he can't afford to look, uh, overlook Kilikowskis because you now this kid can punch. Well, Kilikowskis is uh, looking very wary. He wasn't too wary of Mark Krenz, and he did come forward against Roman Greenberg, but he knows very well the level of excellence that Herbie Hyde has uh, operated at for a long time. That's a good right by Hyde. Kilikowskis again using that uh, crossover defence, but nearly got himself caught. I'm wondering has Herbie just seen enough in the opening six minutes and has, may well decide just to open up a little bit. Again, fast hands from the former two-time WBO heavyweight champion of the world. Well, Kuliskowskis isn't taking the fight to Herbie Hyde. He's just waiting to land that one big punch. All the time he's waiting, he's just getting picked off. Now, Herbie isn't landing that cleanly, but he's landing the more telling shots. He's just, he's outworking him. Another good measured run by uh, Herbie Hyde, just took his time. Doesn't seem to be feeling any pace at all, and he's standing there. And I think Eddie Mustafa Hamill will say to him, just sit down and we'll talk through the pros and the cons of that last run. Go on, down you go, that's a good boy. Bit of action there, well, Kulikowskis uh, on his way back, and he took that uh, low blow. And there was uh, nothing deliberate about that. It was just a simple contrast of styles. Hyde coming in again. And there again, again, Kulikowskis on the retreat. And Hyde a little bit short in terms of reach, but nothing malicious in there. Although there has been the odd time during his career where Herbie has been guilty of noughties. Come on. Keep the jab going. Bone edge, 10 seconds. I'm going one jab. Second jab, round three. Advice to Hyde about keeping the jab going. He's used it pretty well. I think Herbie's still probably in about second gear, Duke. What do you think? Absolutely. He's just taking his time. He's not really exerting himself too much. He needs to show this guy some feints. Maybe try and work the body a little bit. Bring his hands down because Chris Kalkis has got his hands up around his chin and, and his temple quite high. So if he's going to land the clean shot, he needs to bring his hands down where he can land the shot. A little bit of frustration, I feel, just coming into Hyde's work now. Showing out, kidding him a little bit, but perhaps not the right tactic to adopt. He's a little bit hesitant about throwing that left hand of his, maybe, and I'm sure he's been in with, in fact, he has been in with a few southpaws before, so he shouldn't be too worried about this style. Well, there's not too much coming back, so, you know, he can, that's a better right hand from maybe Hyde. He can throw caution to the wind, you know, he's winning everything in sight. He's too cute, I think, at this level to make any real mistakes. Well, of course, he has been caught most uh, notably by the unheralded Joseph Kingangu of Zambia, Newcastle, away back in September of 2001, the fight he subsequently avenged. But that was a, a major setback to him when he was on the comeback trail. That's a good, short, sharp little right hand from Herbie Hyde. Coming up to the midway point, and this the third of a, a scheduled Eight rounder. It would do Herbie Hyde no harm at all to get eight rounds under his belt. Sure, he wants to look impressive tonight and bomb this guy out, but if he doesn't get the knockout, eight rounds will do him far much better than the knockout. Than the knockout. Hyde's would. cut. Hyde has cut, and that's a nasty cut. 
don't know whether it was a bang of heads or not, but Haida's cut. He's got a rather nasty cut, a very nasty cut over his left eye, and that may well scupper any thoughts of a contest with Danny Williams, because if that's as bad as I think it is, that's going to require at least half a dozen stitches, certainly from here. Referee's having a really good look at it, and Hyde will know he's cut, and the corner desperately anxious now, and Hyde has got to get this man out of here. A minute to go to the end of the third. Referee's going to give Herbie Hyde every opportunity, but it's in a very bad position. And Hyde, who really is not what's known in the trade as a bleeder at all, has got cut. And I'm wondering, was there a little clash of heads or was it a southpaw jab? The former, I think, a lot of blood now coming down the face of Hyde. And he's got to try to get Kulikowskas out of this contest. It must have been a clash of heads because Kulikowskas hasn't landed a punch on Herbie Hyde all night. Or the referee's done it. Well, the referee, if he's any sense, will keep well out of the way of these two, apart from saying stop, break and box. So what's going to happen to Herbie Hyde's eye? Oh, it's a terrible cut. It's a nasty cut. And Herbie Hyde's right, left eye, sorry, it's also got a swelling on, on top of the cut. Well, Hyde straight back to the corner. And they've got to get somebody in there to try to get this sorted out. That is not nice at all. They've got to keep his head up. They're going to go to work with the adrenaline solution. One in a thousand. And let's see what caused that. I'm sure we'll be able to tell you in just a couple of seconds. There's the forward. Now, is this a clash? Bang, that's it. Accidental, but nasty. And unfortunately for Herbie Hyde, it's a very, very bad cut. Now, can they do a job in this cut so he'll survive this contest? Because remember, if it's bad enough, it could well mean a, a postponement, and I'm sure it will of his uh, meeting with Danny Williams. He won't want to go in against Danny Williams with uh, any problems like a dodgy eye. Second change, round four. Referee is sending Kulikowskas to the neutral corner and he may well be calling for a doctor to adjudicate and I don't think he's going to let this go on with that eye. Here comes the doctor. Herbie Hyde is pretty insistent. He won't want to lose this contest on a cut and that's what's going to happen. He's saying, please, referee, don't stop this. Please don't stop it. The, ref the doctor is saying no and the referee says it's all over and Herbie Hyde has lost this on a cut. I wouldn't worry too much about the decision because he was boxing well within himself, but that is desperately, desperately unfortunate. And the winner is Mandoga Kulikowskas from Lithuania, and he can put a former two-time world heavyweight champion on his record, but that will mean nothing whatsoever. But what it means to Herbie Hyde is that I'm quite sure the Danny Williams fight is not going to be derailed it's going to have to be shunted down into a siding for some time. Well, Happy Hard have won everything in sight, won every round, which is winning this fight at a canter. This is where you have to question the, 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 the scoring system, in, certainly in this country, because he had won everything. He hadn't, he hadn't taken a punch back in anger, let's be fair. And to lose by a default like that because he's cut, OK, it's a bad cut, the fight should be stopped, but maybe they should have some sort of a system where they go to the scorecard and do it like that. He doesn't deserve to lose this fight. Well, most other countries, especially the United States, where there's a title at stake or not, they have three men at ringside who decide, and they tend to go to the judges' cards. Well, how unfortunate. Let's have another look at what happened. It all seemed totally innocent. Kelly Kauskas went forward. Herbie tried to counter, and then there was that bang of heads. Was that deliberate, Duke? No, it wasn't deliberate. It's, again, just a clash of styles. That's OK. That's, that's all it was, was just a clash of styles. Herbie, these things happen in boxing, but it's a first for you. Yeah, but uh, this is, I must be the luckiest boxer out there. I won the title at 22 years old, and there was Lennox Lewis from Brunner. I was always in their shadow. Lewis is out the way, and now I want to come out and shy. And I got bit by a bum. Uh, I don't know if I want to fight anymore. Bang ahead. Well, you haven't had a chance to look at the cut yet, but we can look at the clash of heads that caused it. If you just look down at the monitor, and maybe you can explain to us exactly what happened and, and how disappointing it is. Oh, no, it's just... It's... You'll see just coming up in a moment here now, this is the clash of heads that caused the cut. That was a headbutt, totally headbutt. You know, but what actually happened? Well, yeah, the headbutt, the headbutt, headbutt right but it's, I felt it straight away. So you're saying it was intentional? 
Uh, no, he was, he, he was such, just accidentally, he, he was, I didn't think he meant to, but that's a bad cut, man. I didn't think he meant to, but I'm, I'm so unlucky. At 22 years, I won a war title, fought really by everybody, and, but I was, I was in the shadow of Lennox Lewis. Now, is that the way I want to come and shine? I'm training hard, I live in America now, but I just never have luck. When I was actually one time my little brother died, that broke my heart, I was down. I, I, never, I don't know if I want to fight anymore. I really don't know. But in the past, you've always come back, and now you've got Thank to do it again, haven't you? What, what is for? Every time I come back, or something stopping me. What else is for? I don't, I don't know. Suck it up. No, so you, up. You're not serious about walking away, are you? But f unless I get that Danny Willem fight. If I get Danny Willem fight, I'm not coming out anyhow. But that's, that's the only thing that made me come back, because fighting bums like this, you don't get... But clearly that eye is going to take some time to get better. Yeah, that sounds crazy. Look at the size of it. But this is a big test. You've got to come back, haven't you? But every time back. I come back, I, I was hiding, I was on the Lennox Lewis for many years. Fancy 22 year old boy and then win a water, he'd be a hero. But I won it at that 22. Nobody took no notice because Lennox Lewis. No, but this is unlike you. You're talking like a loser, but you haven't lost. I know, I but I have lost. It's a lot of loss on my record that sets me back. I was meant to beat up Danny Willem next month, and that, that is gone. You know? And, 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 but that fight will happen. But then. Uh, all right, he wants that fight as much as you want it. And he's a pussy cat. He don't want no fight. He just talks nonsense. You've got to go away and assess this now. Do you think when you wake up in the morning that you'll, uh, you really will feel like coming back? I don't know. I've just picked my wife and, and see what to do, you know? So this may be the end of Herbie Hyde. I, I, I'm not too sure. If, I'm going to talk to Mickey and see if how close Danny Williams' fight is and if the eye can heal. So yeah, at yeah. the end of the day, I got my runs in anyhow. But if the eye can heal quick enough, I fight Danny and knock him out and fight Michael Sprott. And then I, I retire because I just like my brother dying and I just, I just, it's like I got the whole world against me. I just, I had enough now. All right, thanks for your time.